Hey there, Louis Acabellis here. Thanks for stopping by. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can assign co-organizers in a Microsoft Teams meeting. Now, before we get started, if you find this tutorial helpful, please hit that thumbs up below and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already to stay up to date on the latest tutorials that I publish. Now let's go ahead and let's get started. All right, now to assign co-organizers to a meeting, first you wanna go ahead and schedule your meeting. Once you've scheduled it, you want to come back to your meeting invitation in your calendar. You wanna right click on it and you wanna click edit. Now the assign co-organizers option can be found in the meeting options. Now to see the meeting options, you wanna go ahead and click on these three dots here. And you can see here this meeting options menu option. You wanna click on that. Now that is going to open your browser and it's going to bring you into this meeting options page. Now you'll notice this new option on this page that says choose co-organizers. And if you click into the search for participants dropdown, what you're going to see is a list of all of those individuals that have been included in the meeting invitation. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and select my colleague Diego. Now, once you've assigned your co-organizers, you want to scroll to the bottom of this page and you want to go ahead and click save. Once it's been saved, then that individual will now have the co-organizer role and will have elevated permissions over this particular meeting. Now, this is the support documentation for this new feature. Now, the first thing that I want to call out is that at the time that this tutorial was recorded, this feature is not generally available, but rather it is enabled in the public preview program. Now, if you're interested in learning how to opt in or how to enable the public preview program in your Microsoft Teams desktop application, I do have a tutorial showing you how to do that. I've included the link in the description below, and you can just go ahead and click on that video card in the top right-hand corner of the screen. Now, the other thing that I want to point out is that there are some limitations with this role. First and foremost, you can only add up to 10 co-organizers to any single instance of a meeting. Now, in terms of what a co-organizer can do, I will scroll down here and you can see that co-organizers can access and change the meeting options. So you can see that menu that we were just in. If you assign a co-organizer, they also have the permission to go in and change those options. They can also become a breakout room manager. They can bypass the lobby. They are entitled to admit people from the lobby at the beginning of a meeting. They can lock and unlock the meeting, share their content, uh, promote other participants to either presenters, and they can also end the meeting. Now, it's really disappointing, but unfortunately, co-organizers cannot actually amend or change the date and time of a particular meeting. So if you were hoping that the co-organizer role would allow individuals to actually modify the invitation in terms of the date, and the time. That is not part of this feature at this time. Uh, hopefully that is something that Microsoft is working on as I know there are a lot of individuals out there who have a similar use case and are looking to be able to do that. Now in terms of what co-organizers cannot do over and above actually managing the meeting invitation, you'll notice that co-organizers are not permitted to view and download attendance reports they cannot manage the meeting recording and they can't revoke or change the original organizer's role, which kind of makes sense. Now, next, what I'm going to do is I am going to log into Microsoft Teams and impersonate my colleague Diego, just so that you can see what a co-organizer sees when they actually join the meeting. All right, now you can see here that I have logged in as my colleague Diego. Now, what I wanted to show you is that even though Diego has been assigned the co-organizer role, when I right click on this team meeting, you'll see here that I don't have the option to edit this meeting. So that is, again, one of the limitations of this feature at the time that it was added into the public preview program is co-organizers cannot edit the meeting invitation. Now, I've gone ahead and I've joined the meeting here. 
Now, when I click into the people icon, you can see here that Diego has been assigned the organizer role in addition to me who actually scheduled the meeting. Now, what you'll notice is that co-organizers have the ability to change other participants' roles. So you can see here when I click on the three dots to the right of this individual's name, I can either demote them and make them just an attendee or I can actually remove them from the meeting. So again, that's something that is included in the co-organizer permission set. Now, as a co-organizer, I can also end the meeting. So you can see when I click on the leave dropdown, I can actually go ahead and end this meeting as well. And in terms of other permissions that co-organizers have is they can also lock the meeting. So you can see when I click on the three dots to the right of the word participants, I can go ahead and lock this meeting and I'll just go ahead and do that. And I can also go ahead and unlock the meeting as well. So that's going to prevent additional participants from joining once the meeting is locked. Now, in terms of the other permissions that a co-organizer has, again, what they can do is they also have the ability to access the meeting options. So when I go ahead and click on the more options icon here, you'll see that I have the ability to open up the meeting options and again, modify those if I wanted to change who can present, who can bypass the lobby, etc. So that's it. In this tutorial, I showed you how you can assign the co-organizer role to other participants in a Microsoft Teams meeting. I also walked you through what co-organizers can and cannot do at the time that this feature was implemented in public preview. And then we had a look at what a co-organizer sees when they actually go ahead and they join a meeting. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, please hit that thumbs up below and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already to stay up to date on the latest tutorials that I publish. I'm Louis Akabalas. Thanks for stopping by. Talk soon.